As you world build for your writing, gaming, or just for enjoyment, there are many dangers you will face. You might contract world builder's syndrome, or you might fall down the world builder's rabbit hole. Here are just a few things to keep an eye out for as you go on this journey. You might find yourself lost in the world, a wanderer without a way. Maybe you began by building the gleaming towers of the everlasting empire in the center of the great and mighty continent on your world. But then you start building the sea folk who live on their drifting and moving isles in, out in the seas far away from the mighty empire. But wait! Now you're working on the rabbit people on the island of rabbit on the complete opposite side of the world. Yes, be careful. Remember why you are world building and keep focus on those parts you need for what you are working on. If you're building just for fun, it could be fine just wandering around. But if it's for writing or gaming, you need to keep focus on the part that you need to build for your purpose. Also remember, even if sometimes things just don't seem right, they don't need to be all the way perfect. Maybe the language you have for the Tholans just doesn't sound right yet. But you can start writing of them before you have that 100% correct. It does not need to be all the way complete. And sometimes things just won't seem completely without contradictions or completely without troubles. But many things in the real life have contradictions. Many societies do within them. Just think about modern society, how... They find it all right for an individual to sleep with many different people. But if they were to marry those different people, no, 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 you can't be married to multiple different people. Even though, in this that case, Demi's making commitment to those people and not just sleeping with them without any commitment. Also remember the limits of your mind. You cannot store everything you need for your world and your mind. You will need to write it down, or you will lose things, and have to recreate them every time. But while doing that, be well of forgotten ruins. You need to remember where you kept your notes, or there'll be forgotten ruins of your world. You may have had one system of magic, but you forgot exactly what it was in your notes, and you've created a new system that contradicts how it was in the earlier stories. Also remember, you don't need to appease everyone. There will be those who would disagree with your world not and not like it. There are just those people out there. You're building your own world. As long as it makes sense within itself. And it's not made to be abusive or aggressive against anyone. It is alright. Build it as you desire it. Often those people forget. There are many different worlds that can form. And your world is not Earth. Also remember when you're building your world... History might be a great influence for your world and how things work and different ideas that you could put in there. But your world is your own. You're not recreating Earth's history. So everything does not have to be completely historically accurate. It just needs to be historically accurate for your world in your own world's context. Now remember, you don't have to put all your ideas into one world. They can go into many worlds. Don't force every idea you have into one. Sometimes specific ideas will be better in their own world. Like maybe, just maybe, you should put that amazing faster than light travel technology in its own sci-fi world and not force it into your Neolithic world. And don't oversimplify your world. Keep many complexities in there. Those complexities and those interesting and some things that seem contradictory will bring flavor to your world, as the, as the real world has many of those things within itself. And when building your world, feel free to expand your ideas and go out to where you are. Don't just be someone who borrows other people's worlds and uses them and just renames characters, or a thief that literally just rips other people's worlds away and uses them as their own. Fanfics can be a great way to start writing, but you need to go beyond that and build your own worlds. Expand your mind and do as you please. Also while doing it, make sure your characters and your societies aren't just stereotypes. There's not all, all the elves are 
All the elves are highly sophisticated and stiff-necked and don't really care to help. And all the dwarves just care about gold and are drunk all the time. And all the humans are insanely heroic and suicidal. Don't be like that. Show the diversity of the people in your societies and uh, individual characters. Paint your world in all its colors and all its diversity. Now have fun world building. Like and subscribe.